Welcome back to round number three of the 21 Hole Salute presented by Dynamic Discs. This is, uh, of course, the collaboration between Final Round of Radio and Joe Mez Productions. And uh, we're going to start off this uh, second part of the coverage here at hole number 11. And uh, fi- we've got Philo Brathwaite here with us, uh, of course, who was uh, shooting a hot round coming into this. Um, Philo, talk a little bit about one of your card mates here, uh, Lance Brown, who is uh, really kind of getting into a he's, groove He's in there. a charge right now. If you, I don't know if you ever, but we haven't really spoke about the scores, but uh, Lance started off with a par on the first one, then he birdied two, and then he birdied three. He got a solid par on four. Two perfect shots on five, the par four, so that's another one. So that's three, right? Yeah. Hole yeah. six was the one he hit the tree, or he hit the band on his jump putt, so that's a par. Then he parked hole seven. Seven, so four a down. crazy bird. Hole crazy eight bird. was the little hyzer. He popped that in there, so that's five down. Hole number nine was the par, the par four. four. He got Great that, bird. so that's six down. We go to hole number nine. That was the one he bounced off the tree, he right? Got the bird. So that's another one. Then the next hole after that. Hold 10, birdied again, right? The, the guy was on fire. He was just cruising. I, I didn't even, you know, I didn't even really notice that at the time. You know, I was really just trying to make up those two early strokes I gave up. <laughs> so we'll start off here with hole or number 11. Three early strokes, rather. Hole number 11 is 221 feet, par three. It's another hole on this course where you really have two different shots. There's two different angles to play it, a right and a left. And um, there's, uh, it's not a long hole, so it's definitely a putter Another shot. Another forehand Philo. I know, man. Like or the, if you're Philo, yeah, you're embracing the forehand side of things. Oh, wow. And see what I'm saying, man? That should have been parked. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, there's a big gorge down there where Philo, you dropped oh, off to. So the uh, basket is right there on a cliff. and uh, just You don't kind of see a, that, that very often. That's though. almost 12 fairway right there on that flick by Lance. One of his worst shots of the day, probably. Here's See, one. this is a more That's traditional tasty. shot right here. Tasty goodness Hauser. right there. That was pretty. And how Hunter Todd is putting, he, he, he's got that all day. So then I see him do this, and I'm thinking, I might get a stroke. Yeah, well, yeah probably that's, pro- that's probably about 100 feet away from the basket. Nah, nah he's 50, like 60? 50 down the hill. It's a death putt, kind that of, if be he throws shot. it on yep. a hyzer. He That's came up a little up. short, hit the tree. He landed there the round before as well. And He's going for it, isn't that it? 50-foot downhill putt. Death putt. That is exactly <laughs> Oh, oh kicking the leg. Let's get this other angle here. Do you see Pop. how far oh. of a putt? Right at the gorge beneath Every it. time I felt like I had a chance to get a stroke. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> yeah. Can't get mad at him. I mean, he threw it in there solid. Charlie off the mark. Just a little bit low there from just outside the circle. After coming back, that's from a great putt. Yeah. Lower Solid. cards, Charlie. There's another birdie. Apart. What, 35 and foot? It, no problem. And just cruising along. Exactly. That's just getting in a rhythm and just not getting, just moving. That yeah, wasn't a such a bad putt from where I was. Just below the uh, chastity belt there, so snuck in on the top side. You said you had a bad stance there, Philo? Nah, I was just, you know, just smash it in. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't as bad as a break as it looked like on film. I mean, it probably could have finished right under the pole, you know, but whatever. 20 foot is not that bad. And they all clean up now. We're going to move on into hole number 12, the infamous hole number 12, which, of course, is 177 feet, par 3, uphill off of a great deck. And the uh, pin is, of course, uh, on top of a bunch of rocks. And you may have seen this shot before, but, of course, here it is again anyway. Take it away, Philo. Ba-da-da, ba-da-da. <laughs> Smash him. Right, in, right the in the middle. Bang, bang. bang. Look at how beautiful that rock was. What a line. Soft. Yeah. Came in so soft. Just buttery smooth. And Philo, man. man. How did that feel? That was you cool, man. It, it was really funny. Do it. Uh, oh, K squared. <laughs> K squared was like, you owe me an ace run, good man. Right. You haven't really had a good one this whole round. You're just like throwing layups. So I was like, well, this is a perfect hole for it. You know, it's uphill. It's, I can throw a rock flat and know it's just going to, if it doesn't get hit the basket, it's going to go 20 feet past it. So just figure why not take a run at it. Heck I needed yeah, the yeah. stroke anyway. I was behind, you know. And that's what happens. Yeah, absolutely. Lesson learned, ask for an ace more often. <laughs> nice putt, Philo. Ty Not only that, but, <laughs> but we <laughs> talked about that when Philo was on. Uh, See, Philo there's Round another Radio. one of those good Tybersky breaks. Anything could have happened off of those rocks, but he sat right there. You know, those are the kind of breaks that win you tournaments. That's true. 
He's probably what twenty feet away, if that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it could have hit. You know, it hit two rocks. You saw the first one kicked it, gained speed. Then the second rock slipped. That's an down. unfortunate break there for Hunter, though. Honestly, a lot of times that'll end up a lot closer. His drive That's more likely, <laughs> but he cleans it up nice and easily with the uh, comeback putt. So, yeah, he doesn't look too happy about it, though. He's trying to get his head together. That's a pretty easy play. What? Yeah. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but we talked about this putt, Charlie and I walking away after a few. <laughs> and I was like, you know, you kind of chicken winged your arm on that putt. You know, oh, you didn't really man. draw a line to the basket. You just kind of flung your arm out there and let go. You know? <laughs> he missed that 20 foot. He or said that was the yeah, single no, worst putt in his disc golf career. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been not top 10. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, but in all honesty, Charlie Coleman has an awesome mental game because he, that's a pretty tough putt to miss, even as a like rank intermediate player, and he, uh, he held it together well. Hole number 13, 277 feet, another par three. Well, split and, fairway. Uh, again, uh, yeah, another split fairway. Uh, another shot, like the many on this course, where what you have two hit? different moves. This happens a lot to me after I ace. Whack! <laughs> tree. Jonathan tree. Gomez was actually saying that's what you're saying after you hit the ace. He said, yeah, but watch the next hole. <laughs> yeah, it tends to happen. It's really weird. Like, I didn't want to hit a tree, but it <laughs> happened anyway. And you see a lot of these players going for that forehand route. That really is the route look at, I think look at, that look you at have that. to take. I'm going to throw it in the middle of the tree. Early, if you want to miss right, though, early right is way better. When you take that backhand route, though, you do have to, again, uh, just like in hole number 10, kind of go uphill and then downhill. And I think it's even a little bit further past it for that um, right hand route. It's got to so. be parked. He didn't even try. Charlie yep. walked up to it, and as soon as it went out of his hands, he goes, that's, that's parked. parked. Did he really? <laughs> yeah, he did. yeah, he knew it. He knew it. I was running it. I needed the stroke. Why not? No layups at this point. That's Here's the right attitude. I thought he was going to make this one, too, for a second. <laughs> Just off the mark. It was only 50 feet through the shoe. Hey, man. This guy, though. Another jump by nice right in the basket for Lance Brown. And, again, uh, he just chalks up another birdie. And, like you said, Philo keeps moving. Yeah, he wasn't looking backwards. I mean, I guess he was trying to catch up to Tybersky as well. He was two behind both of us. So, he knew he had to put up a number to catch us. And he's doing it. You know, he's I mean, a couple of little breaks going his way. But, for the most part, he had been throwing really good shots. You know, you can't get mad at that. They'll clean up here, no problem. And we'll go on into hole number 14, 270. Hold on, I say no problem, but let's make sure that goes. Okay, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> That's like when you yell clear yeah. and, like, the last guy hasn't putted yet, right? <laughs> okay, so 273 feet, uh, hole number 14, another par three. And uh, this is another good hole, you know. I mean, it's uh, uh, a forehand hole, as we can see here, as uh, Lance Brown is going to go for that route uphill. Yeah, I think he's doing that so he gets that. Wow, what? I didn't nice notice that had happened. Skip. Wow. Or that rock or <laughs> something. Wow. wow, another one of those awesome breaks. That's a good shot there, too. Again, That's they, solid. Again. That's the way it's supposed to finish. Lance came in a bit hot. If that stump hadn't been there, he'd have been gone. What are you throwing here, Philo? I'm throwing a champion rock. Uh, you know, just a solid, really overstable. One turn, one angle. Fired at the hill, and hopefully I got a better bounce than that. But that's still putting. It's a very, even though it goes right to left. It's when he threw that, I thought he was again. hot. There you go. That's why. You see what I'm saying? Now, just keep in mind, on the other side of that rock, there's a 30-foot drop down into a creek. It is casual, but it's a way down there. It's down there. You're going down there. You know what I mean? Where his he, disc is trickling off to. And it, with the pace that that was going, that could have just every skipped good and flown all the way across uh, to the other side. Is a, a couple of bucks. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's this, no and what you don't see here is there's a this is a death putt. That's eh, not so much. I'm just aiming on the strong side of the basket, just right there. Yeah, let's just that. make this 30 foot putt. It's you know, uphill. On the other side, uphill. It's uphill. Just make it look easy. See, the thing is, is the way I was aiming that putt. If I missed on the right side, it'd be hard to roll away. Yeah, but if you miss on that left side, that's then it's yeah. Tricky, but, but you know, after being a pro for 10 years, you got to have confidence in that putt. That's true. That's well said. That's only one things you can say when you And Lance just, again, taps in, no problem. There you go, birdie, birdie. He, he's been quietly Sick making this Quiet, massive the, run. The silent assassin of this round was definitely Lance. Hole number 15, 234 feet. So, uh, another par three, a little bit shorter than the last, but this one is definitely uphill, and it is a tight uh, left to right shot. We're going to see. It's a real an sharp Anheuser. Real sharp Anheuser uphill. It's uphill. Not quite all the way there. 
think. You don't want any flat in your. I want to see this shot. This is a very tough flick hole too. You are super awesome. Good shot. Flick. I think nice he's right there. Can see where it landed. I'm taking a stable yeah. DX rock this That's time. A lot of action on that. Yep. But you actually heard Lance Brown, in, you know, in between the shots, saying that he usually does not. Um, he, he tried throwing the flick on this hole, but he he had to switch to a backhand. It's hard to get the flick short enough to get right it up. right up there and part. There's no luck Ty there. Bursky, yeah. yeah, that is all smooth skill. Here is Hunter Top with another backhand and Heiser. He's going to try and yeah, he didn't get it there, high enough or sharp enough into the window. He threw that a little too flat. Forehand shot getting out of the trouble there. It's up next to the basket. Yeah. That'll be an easy up and down for par. Hunter Love Tuck. that guy's putting, man. I mean, smooth. Jump up from about 80 feet. That was that further easy. than that. That was like a 90-footer. Uphill. Bang. Oh. Nice uphill putt. On <coughs> no the outside problem. of the chains, but drops in. And again, Lance Brown. What's his last name? Another bird. I, Brown? Macbeth? I think that guy's like an unconscious. <laughs> I think Lance is in that like unconscious st like zone right now. He's not even thinking about what he's doing. I think afterwards, actually, I noticed online he put a post up about that was his best, you know, tournament ever. Like that was the best he'd ever played. So good for him, you know. And uh, good for him. The field will tap out here, which will take us to hole number 16, 215 feet. Well, we'll let Ken tap in here because uh, that's just what he's been doing all around. Oh, that was a football. <laughs> Would have been nice. What, what did you call it? Heck no. <laughs> 215 feet par three on hole number 16, but this is definitely one of the most birdie or uh, aceable holes on the course. It's downhill about uh, probably about 40 degrees here. Uh, definitely a putter shot. Nice, easy throw. Uh, you do have out of bounds on the right. Man, that angle time. makes it look so flat. It's well, definitely not. It is it's not. It's a way <laughs> tougher Bro, shot. You can see the like. angle my disc left my hand. It was. It's downhill. The disc was parallel to the ground, which is the idea when thrown down the hill. Yeah, there's a little bit of help up. there, a little get help. A little, get a little nestle. That little there slide you go. There you can, you can see you're kind of the downhill This is the throw right, right here. This is what you're looking for. You just got a little bit of a bad break off that tree. That was ace run. Still should be a birdie, though. Charlie Steve talked about doing this jump putt high. thing and... I don't know about that play. No, that <laughs> seems like it's adding a lot of variables into your throw. Absolutely. Really, exactly. You see That's like what you want that's right there. Right there. That's an ace yeah, run. Just that's awesome. Awesome. Oh. Really it down there. Just off of it. I have seen an ace that way, that little reverse. Actually, flare. that hole was if also can, aced that day, wasn't it? If you can it Mitchell Mitch, Tucker. Mitch yeah. Tucker. If yep. you can hyzer it and get it to skip off of that incline to the left, you can definitely talk about bouncing into the chains on this Mitch hole. Tucker didn't uh, didn't get on Sports Center. He that definitely took half bounds. your money. Hey, man. <laughs> That's a tough break there. That's a real tough break. And you could tell he took that jump putt um, off the tee pad because he wasn't feeling confident to then go out of bounds. Yeah, that's uh, that's got to be a tough break there for uh, Cole. Ah, just, Milo, you know, just a little bit in. long. Yeah, that was Still a weird in. stance over there, and I had that tree there, the thicker tree closest to the basket was kind of in the middle of my <laughs> line. And Almost an identical putt to yours. Oh, he, he was just a couple feet shorter, so it made it a little bit easier to make the angle. But he still uh, cashes in on that putt. Can't you make this one? Can yep. from a nice little downhill putt. And, of course, that's a, sh that's a sharp angle right there with that hole that's up on the left. Uh, so. He did it right. He just, you know, kept the disc parallel to the ground. You don't have to work too hard on those very steep downhill shots. Uh, no, I mean, gravity's doing most of the work, but you still got to get the disc online. That's true. And Hunter Todd will Take close knee. out with a three. So we'll move on into hole number 17, oh, 226 man. feet. Oh, man, there's still guys pouring out. I thought he was fast. <laughs> <laughs> now, I guess you're not fast if you throw a lot of shots. He's looking around like he's, like he's looking for his lost dog or something. <laughs> <laughs> hole number 17, 226 feet, par three. It's a forehand hole that, uh, again, has the creek running through it here. It's and an ace run hole. It is an ace run hole. The basket's up on the right, and we're going to see a forehand skip. Isn't it? Oh, that was close. That, that looked off. so close the off the tee pad. That was a solid toss. Here is Hunter. I mean, there, honestly, the same round. thing. Get up. Again, trying to get that skip. And that's exactly what you want to do on that hole, right, Philo? I mean, you've got well, the uh, ground that you can skip off of. See, that's definitely what you want to do when you have a, a that, caddy that tells yeah. you the right thing to do. That's a good break uh -oh. right there. Yeah, Did my caddy, the I, I picked up the destroyer to throw the sidearm, and then this happens. Oh, no. Uh oh. We're, are we about to have somebody get thrown under the bus? 
Probably. That's oh, the no. kind of stuff that's been killing me lately. It feels perfect, looks perfect, and a tenth of an inch away from being perfect. And the forehand yeah. See that? shot, that's, looks like that is the there. one danger of throwing the forehand is that. Getting a roll. Catch a roll. I figured may as well try to throw it in there. A little bit shy. A little bit shy, but easy up and down. Easy up and down for a four, giving up two strokes to everybody. Yeah, on 17, that's not a good hole. That's not what you want to do coming down the end. Hunter Todd with his downhill Smash! Ball. Beautiful putt. 20 feet away. Great balance in his action there with his putting. You are talking about how you are going with between a backhand and a forehand. What made you change last second there? Oh, the caddy says, oh, play your game. Like, <laughs> I haven't thrown enough sidearms, and I wasn't warmed up with it yet or something. I don't know. I don't know why I put the destroyer down. I was feeling the sidearm right there. I should have just stuck with it. I had a feeling like something funky could have happened with that stupid tree there. You could tell I'm frustrated. That was a terrible break to take that point of the game. Hole number 18, 300 feet even, par three, one of the finest closing holes in all of Charlotte Disc Golf. Of course, not the final hole here in this round, but downhill across the creek and... Oh, oh yeah, no. Off to the right, and now really this is a, uh, a yeah, hole that you want to throw It doesn't hurt you that bad. You're still going to make par from there. If you can put a nice little rock out there and just finish it right up to the hole. There is some OB behind it, of course, so there's a danger if you go long. But this is a hole that you can take a run at. I do sure. like the forehand here on this hole. Just slam it into the ground. We'll see what he does. Yeah, that's pretty much and the play. he takes that that's, skip. That's and he pretty got, solid. He got lucky, though, because, again, if he had gone another five feet, that would have been uh, out of bounds. Possibly. Like that. Like that. Just like that. <laughs> well, that, well, that came go. in with that's, about that's 20 miles an hour about. more speed. <laughs> I mean, Lance's shot came in nice and smooth. I'm trying to throw a hyzer flip here down the middle. Got a little greasy on the right side. I'll take it. You got some luck this time. I wouldn't that's say luck. I'd say grease. <laughs> <laughs> little it's greasy. High, though. I'd say luck is when you bounce off of things and, you know, end up in the middle of the fairway. I didn't hit anything. <laughs> now, that's a, that's a tough out to get out of the shul from there. And this is a death play here. That's a solid Man. stroke. Solid stroke. No problem. Yeah, he knows it, too. But look it's at this. with the straddle putt. From this is impressive. Again, this is one of those moments I think I might get right a stroke in, in there. there. Bam! <laughs> Just on the outside right edge of the chains, it catches it and drops in. I got to speak with unfazed by any putt. Well, you know, the week before he said his uh, putting had been really like his his nemesis. It was holding him back, and then all of a sudden he just found the rhythm, and he's riding it, you know. It's amazing. Like three years ago, he's playing intermediate, and now he's playing this level. Yeah, he said playing disc golf six years. That's, I mean, that's impressive. He must have really focused hard those first few years to get his skills up. Yeah, for all the us older folk, uh, I think he said he started playing at, what, 32? 34 or something? 34. He's, yeah. um, I think he's getting ready to crack master's age or 40. A hole number 19, uh, age. 555 feet, par four. This is one of the temporary bonus holes, teeing off from the sidewalk, going uphill to the right there, and Hunter Todd Perfect. goes right at it with the forehand. Par four, yeah, he so. He throws it out there right to the middle of the fairway. That's a smart play. I mean, you don't really have to force anything on this. You can make three from anywhere out there in the fairway. Kaboom. That's a smashing right. sidearm. That is getting up there, even up into that little hill that's right below the basket. Ah, what did I miss, everybody, for all the people I've been giving lessons? The height. <laughs> Speed and height equals distance. You still have another back there to get a three. Yeah, I got a little bit. I knew once it hit the ground, it was going to knurl back into the fairway. So it didn't hurt me, but it definitely wasn't a pretty shot. And this one looks like it's that's going a smash too. Yeah, I mean, oh, big, turns over. beautiful flex. Do you need that much distance on this hole? Nah, you could throw anything out there to the left. You know, 300, 330, and still have an easy little one of these up towards the basket. This little flick up there, backhand. Hey, hey there's a break. Got a nice <laughs> little. Yeah. Hey, I had a feeling when I threw right that that basket. was a terrible shot, and I told my caddy too. I was like, that was bad. <laughs> that's in the woods. Yeah, Hunter. The Hunter had it's almost an identical shot. There. He was what, 10 he feet left of you? No, uh, he was. We were all actually. You'll see in just a second. Clumped up right next to each other, all five of us. Just okay, kind of all got sucked into like the bottom of the each green. Of those shots kind of went in that same little spot. Have a have even, a jump even look. This. We're all right in the same little nook right there. Everybody should be all tap ins. Yeah, who yeah, designed this hole? Fifteen footers, you know, little tap in, twelve so footers, no big deal. That's a pretty lame hole. Who designed this, Kevin? Yeah, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe no big deal. 
It's a, this, but you say that this is a pretty easy hole going into two very treacherous holes here coming up. So yeah, you definitely it's don't want to give up a four on this hole. I mean, so being the only one not taking a um, forehand off the tee pad, were you thinking eagle on this? I wanted to. I just didn't commit to the height that I needed. There was a little bit of breeze blowing, so I was trying to, to you know, get up on top of it and let the disc get a little bit of lift and just keep holding right. But I had the speed on it. I had the right angle. I just threw it way too low. Everybody taps in to close out at one out, so we're going to move on into hole number 20. 225 feet, par 3, downhill, going from the top of the hill into the middle of the soccer field. And there's a little bit of a twist this year, KB, for this hole. Tell us about it. Yeah, we got tires in the front, so you got to make sure you clear the, those pretty cool tires. And uh, you got you got to make – it's an island hole, so you got to make the island. There's, that's pretty yeah, much is perfect. It. That's ideal. Perfect. But I bet these guys don't miss the island. I just have a feeling. I like that, too. You got some big tractor tires in there. You got, uh, you know, regular mm -hmm. car Ooh. tires. Ace running it. There you Danger go. Danger roll. That's a 35-footer back there probably, 30 feet. Oh. And, of course, that's 30 feet right there that you have to land within to stay in bounds. So, About 60 uh, feet across. That's a little deep. Accuracy yeah, that's is a, a lot premium. deep. You know, it's really like a half swing with a lot of angle, and I just kind of put too much wrist into it. Kind of like that. I burst. No, actually, low. this oh. dude did that oh. every time. He just missed the tires in the same. I mean, the guy was super consistent with these really, really small lines. It was amazing. Here's the forehand route. Trying to spike it in there. Just Great shot. Perfect. To the right. Perfect. But, but KB, what pretty. kind of what kind of scores were people taking on these on this hole? Uh, the worst we like we saw in that first round. We saw uh, Matt Colt take a ten on that. So, All that's, right, that's it. Nice putt, Philo. Thanks, man. I'm sure Matt appreciates the call out. <laughs> hey, he did it on camera. It's his fault. <laughs> oh, and just on the outside left, finally chains. missed one. He had to be pretty close to being circles edge there because. He, I was about 38, 37, and he was about 32, so he was right on the circle's edge. Yeah, he was, he was pretty close. I think he did walk it off and was about a half a step outside the circle. Cleans about the up. only putt he missed. This is a real tough putt for Ken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding, that GoPro getting some cool action there. About one of the only pars that Lance took there. Seems yeah, like I mean, it seemed like he hadn't had a par in forever. Hole number 21, the closing hole here at the 21-hole salute, 330 feet, another par three uh, with some roped-off OB to the left and right. Tell us about this shot, KB. Well, there's a couple options. There's the option to just try to park it, and if you don't, you'll skip out of bounds and maybe have a putt. A little short there on Hunter, but maybe they have a putt for three. Um, That's a big shout-out to the spot. It's a little short if you're going to be you know, trying to lay up in that, you know, that slot there you definitely want to try to get to the back side of it you don't want to come up short this looks like a good aggressive run though Philo you know I was hoping that the the skip would just flare and settle but obviously a little bit too much pace there coming around the corner there is a little landing zone like you saw earlier rounds there yeah not much because you got 99 percent hill and two percent flat so. <laughs> so you're not even thinking about throwing it 150 feet off the tee pad and another 150 feet in no, the hole no absolutely not yeah, the idea for me Almost was to try to skip there. in from the wide side and land right at the crest of the hill and just like settle down. But there's a crosswind blowing from right to left. You can see the flags out there kind of pushing. It's got you know, a chance to stay in. For the most part, those flags have been pointing to the nope. left. Talk about a bad break to, to throw exactly almost a perfect that. shot and have, have it go catch in, edge. Go all the way into that's the That's what happens lot. when the green is 35 degrees downward. I mean, that's going to happen. That is a uh, pretty intense uh, elevated basket there, too. KB, tell us about how that uh, affected play this weekend. Uh, had people getting a little aggressive. Um, it's hard to see that. Ba the basket looks like it's normal level from the tee pad. So Hunter Todd, uh, you he know, threw that upside down, just so everybody knows. He was mitigating the roll away by tossing the disc upside down, landing it on its head, so it just kind of checked up and slid up there. Definitely saw a couple upside down putts throughout uh, the weekend on Sunday. This could have been a tough putt because it's up the hill, you got the wind blowing, but he committed to it and he smashed it right up that's there. That's a great round. And that's though. really up there. This kid I is think not that, that uh, short. Put 13 down? Yeah, solid wow. shooting. I mean, he barely made a mistake. Tremendous that's a good round there. there. Absolutely for Lance Brown. And Philo Brathway with clean up and uh, Ken Bursky will clean up here. Ken will as recognize well. this putt here. Uh, he'll have to hit this a couple times. We'll uh, see if that comes into play later on in the 21-hole salute. Hunter Todd, the 2013 champion, uh, cleans up, up as well. 
<laughs> and uh, that'll be it for round three. We'll see what happens here in uh, the fourth and final round with uh, the lead card here in the next uh, episode here uh, with Final Round Radio and Jomez Productions. We'll see you next time on the 21-Hole Salute.